Hey guys, what's up everyone? Today I want to show you an overview of the ROM I'm using as a daily driver on my D802 LG G2. Um, this is my favorite phone to use every day. Uh, let's go to about phone section. This is the Bliss ROM uh, version 6.4. I've used it on this phone when it was uh, in 5.1.1 state and I used it on the G3. Uh, build type is official. It's based on Sanger mod, of course. I would say for the uh, LG G2, these um, Marshmallow ROMs are now are now very stable, and you can use every 6.0.1 ROM. But I would suggest this one as a tested, and I would say it's very stable, and it's perfect for daily use. Um, I use it too every day, and it's wor working perfectly fine. I've not experienced any bugs whatsoever and I'm very happy that this phone is still very very fast even on 6.0.1. This phone will never get a marshmallow from LG so I'm very happy I found a very nice ROM for this phone. Um, so grab it in the description below, there's a download link in the XDA developers thread. Of course you will get the themes section in here, equalizer for your sound, as you know from previous iterations of this ROM. So there's the kernel auditor app in which you can mess with the CPU settings and also the GPU settings and also screen. You can change the screen the colors of the screen, thermal, you can change core control, temperature throttle, which is very nice if you're gaming, because when the phone uh, gets hot, the GPU and CPU will throttle itself down, so it will not get too hot, but you can um, remove the limit. CPU maximum frequency, these are all stock, like uh, the frequencies, you can not overclock with this kernel, but it's not needed as this phone is very very fast with the Bliss ROM. Let's go to Bliss settings real quick and as you can see you can change animations like toast animations, toast test. You will always get the nice um, test animation here so you can check how they are looking. So that's very nice if you want to play around with the toast animations. I love it. List view animations is also available. Uh, window animation scale, you can make your phone a little bit faster by setting these like to 0 0.5. Um, stock value is 1. And as you can see, the animations are really fast. I've changed it already. Buttons, you can change the layout. For example, if you want to have like camera in here, it's not a problem at all. Just tap save. And you have a camera icon in here. A uh, cool thing about it is when you want to have camera real quick you don't need a button down there because when the phone is locked and you double tap the power button you will directly jump into your camera which is very nice. Let's go back to navigation bar tint. Of course as in any other ROM like really you will get it in like every ROM. You can change the navigation button tint, which is nice. Power menu, you can uh, set the screen shot option here, which is nice to have. And also the sound panel, which is very important for some people to have it in a nice place where you can access this very fast. Like for me, when I'm in a quiet place, I have to change it to vibrate mode. You have to be polite. You can also Go to lock screen, you can check the option show weather on the lock screen and as you can see here, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, well, okay, this is working great, wow. <laughs> Let's go to status bar real quick. Of course you can change the clock style and the, and the orientation, like you can have it on the left, which is very nice. The clock seconds you can enable, so you have like seconds there. 
uh, clock color of course font size you can change and you can also enable date and the colors you can change battery icon of course like in every other rom i've gone with this one the stock android battery icon as you can see here which has the percentage in it battery percentage you can have it next to the icon or inside the icon battery bar you can also have that if you want top of navbar is nice as you can see here let's put it to green now you can see it on camera really nice battery bar um, of course when you have the battery bar you can also go for hidden battery status let's go for network traffic real quick here you can check that and have your network traffic up there headset icon super user icon so basically you can uh, disable and enable every icon in the status bar you can also uh, enable a bliss icon if you want to go for that so this is my daily driver for the um, lg g2 which is the d802 model and it comes with the snap camera which has a very nice interface uh, it, it works perfectly fine and you can change picture size you can do continuous shots face detection white balance so basically this is a manual camera which is nice because in previous iterations of android there was always a camera which was too simple and you couldn't change anything and this is a nice new version of a camera inside rom i'm very happy with this rom guys this is my recommendation for you if you're using a g2 guys have a great day see you in the next one